Now, what? Yes, sir. What are you doing? We had a customer come to me, and now I'm bringing the job to us. So this wood stove, this customer is a, he's a guy that lives in Floyd, Virginia, and he used no, uses nothing but wood heat for his home. And in Floyd, it gets really cold. So he's had this stove for 25, 30 years, and it's a, it's a decently built stove. It's made out of 3 16th material, and it's got a cool feature to it where it's got a double burn. So inside, there's some pipes that go through, free, feeds fresh air into the top chamber. So wood burns and it reburns the unburnt fire, essentially. It's almost like a catalytic converter for your car. So it's a much more efficient uh, wood stove. However, there's a divot that's happened right here and it's starting to weaken the metal. It's really not that bad now, but the customer wants to take care of it before yeah, it's an issue. It's not as bad as it was that I was, once you described it to me, I, yeah. I was picturing this drastic so hole. For him, since heat is a big deal in his life and in the winter time, he needs to have a good stove working and confident and all kinds of stuff. So this top plate needs to be changed. Uh, there's a lot of heat that is generated right here inside the stove. There's a plate on the inside that might need to be changed. And this one's pretty thick. This is a good, this feels like a cold wrench right here. If you can see how warped that is. Mm -hmm. uh, now it might need, might need to be changed. There's also some notice. See how color change is going on right here? So right here is a row of bricks, fire bricks, and there's another row that he wants to put in here that'll hold more heat and it'll stay hotter longer, be more efficient for him. So the goal for this whole project is to essentially fix his wood stove to make it last another 25, 30 years without incident, without issue. Um, and it's a hell of a lot cheaper to do that than to buy another one of this quality and does what he wants it to do. Yeah. It's funny, most people would see this and go, oh, it's ready to go. Yeah. Including me. Including me It as does, well. doesn't look. But if, you're, if your heat is revolved around this one piece, it makes sense to be more, um, to be focused on this one piece. I guess you better get it done before winter, huh? Yep. Winter is coming. No, I don't think this one will be too long. So really I have to slice off this whole top right here. That's the biggest, the biggest section. Then I'm gonna put a thicker piece of material that I've got some quarter inch plate right here in the trailer. Uh, plasma cut that out and re-weld it. But while this top is off, I'm gonna do everything on the inside to make sure that I fix everything so it's easy access, goes quicker. Then put the top back on. So this is a B grade build, as in secondary build. So uh, I don't know if this is gonna happen after hours at the shop or the rest of it at my house, but it will, uh, the plasma cutter and some tools over here at Lift Arc is really what needs to make this go quicker, go easier, smoother, and a better product. I'm gonna start by just getting it out of the trailer. So I'm sitting here measuring the top of this whole thing. This has got a pretty pronounced lip. Um, this lip is uh, an inch and an inch and an eighth sticking over top, roughly. Um, so I've got some playroom if this if I don't want to make this quite big, quite as big. It doesn't need to be this big at all. I'm trying to figure out. So this hole is about six and a quarter, just under. I'm gonna make it six and a quarter so that I've got enough room to weld uh, when I put this back in. I'm gonna cut this out and re-weld this same piece of metal because it's perfect, there's nothing wrong with it. 
it's still in good shape of metal. But the big part is I need to find exactly where the middle point is here and the middle point is here, right on this hole. I need to find the center so that on the computer, I can draw this in the perfect location. So a little tip that I like to do, so use a square on a piece like this and I'll find where it touches on the square itself. So it touches right on four and three quarter from this edge right here. And from this edge right here, it's sitting right on, it makes sense that it would be in the half, it's 20 inches, it's sitting right at 10 inches right there. Cool. All right, so the plasma cutter, I use Steve's little Power Max 30 um, hypertherm, and it did great, really good. I, uh, I'm not very experienced with a plasma cutter, and I'm getting better. But uh, it's not like it's rocket science. But that was my first time. So, inside of here, see this, there's an extra plate inside that has warped all to crap. Look at that sucker. That is a bent piece of steel. Now the cool part is inside of this thing. So, see these pipes right here? It goes all the way down and these pipes go through the underneath, through the bottom of the whole thing. Both of them. Let's go underneath. Oh, and there's the pipe holes right in there. See that? Which they go from that corner on up to both sides and it adds fresh oxygen. So as the fire is burning down here and then has forced the exhaust to come up this side and over the top before going out of the exhaust pipe, it adds more fresh air right there at the top of the fire. That way it has a double burn. So it heats everything up in this top area a whole lot. This customer also wants a second layer. So there's usually a layer of fire brick in the bottom, there's a grate on top of it, and then there's a layer that goes on the side. He wants another one right here. So at some point, I'm gonna be grounding some of this away so that I can add some extra angle iron and uh, make it so he can put an extra layer of fire brick in there. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Face is dirty. I wonder why, sorry my hands are dirty. Anyway, this is a update on, uh, so what's going on. I went ahead and added a second row, replaced the first row uh, for bricks and, any, and everything. So now, uh, I, before I went ahead and leveled the bottom of the, of the stove, that way I could make sure that all of these brick holders are level. Uh, I also leveled it so that I could put the top on there and you see some of these markings on the side. Um, that's so that I could mark where the high spots are, grind them down to make everything flat. Now I'm about to 
uh, take the top piece, this quarter inch plate that we cut out on the plasma cutter. I got this, I got this other plate that's gonna go for the burner area. So I'm gonna get Steve over there. Steve, 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 Steve. To help me uh, pick the damn thing up and flip it over um, so I can do it upside down and then weld it up without forgetting to put the burner plate on the inside because I would do stuff like that and I have to cut it off and do it again. Yeah, yeah, I do things like that. Anyway. What'd you build here, feller? Well, replace the replace the top and this, I don't know what you call it. It's some sort of extra burning board over here inside. Someone that one in the comments might know. Yeah, if you know, please tell us. Um, you know, so it's when the air comes up through this tube, comes over and in right here on the inside, there's a plate sits right here. So the wood burns, the smoke comes through here, burns again up in this area before it goes out of the chimney pipe. This is a quarter inch material instead of 3 16 Same with this piece on the inside. The rest of the steel is pretty good. On the inside, I also put another shelf so that you can put another row of fire bricks. Oh, nice. So, these guys were all torn up and nasty, and these put a new set of these guys. There's a great right. Yeah, this is five and a half inches up to the inside here. So it's a half inch plate, and you put four and a half inch block in there, so there's a little gap, and then we'll hold it. And this is five inches with four and a half inches up, so that you can place the block up the inside, so you can get a piece of the inside. Don't worry, you're not alone. I have no idea what any of that means, but I'm sure it'll make a lot of sense <laughs> to the guy who's. who's to the guy. Is. Yeah. Now this stove is, you know, ready for another 30 years. Thank the people for watching and tell them to have a good one. Hey, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Like, subscribe, or don't. <laughs> tell me what that plate is called. The name of that plate, I actually wanna know. Yeah.